I think another fight that we'll kind of transition to is Poirier, Makachev. Those two guys like to kick as well. Uh -huh. And I think it'll be interesting because Dustin, he's never won a title shot. He fought Khabib, and now he's fighting his, fighting his protege, Islam. Well, just to clarify, so, interim title. So, but that doesn't but that doesn't count as a UFC title. Yeah, he, will, he will say it counts, but in the record book, he's interim. Yeah, I, I don't count interim titles as, <laughs> as championship fights. Uh, I just I just can't. I mean, I mean what, yeah. do you, what do you think about that? I would still count it, if, especially if you like were the interim champ and then you win the unified belt. But but know, Dustin didn't do that. Yeah, to yeah. be fair, he would say he's not the champ. That's the tough. Yeah, and his resume would say he's a champ, an interim. Champ. I mean, he's a he's a championship caliber fighter, which I think will make this Islam Makachev fight interesting. Yeah, because in his last fight. Poirier was so he was such an underdog against Benat Saint Denis. Like everyone thought he was gonna get destroyed in that fight, and then he comes in there and just knocks him out. I think that says a lot about Poirier. He got knocked out, and then come back and knocks somebody else out. That was a crazy fight too. Yeah, yeah. To watch. like that was insane. Law had staff coming in before. You talked about as a fighter having staff and how that can hurt you in your training. Oh gosh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, it's that's a two problem that then you realize that. Uh, just because not only is it affecting you, but you don't want to give it to anybody else in your gym. And for people that don't know, it's a very contagious uh, skin infection. And, uh, you know, here, if you have staff, you're not coming to the gym. <laughs> like, you're not getting close, especially if we got fights coming up. You're staying away from our fighters. You're staying at home. You're getting on whatever you need to get done uh, to get that fixed. So... It shuts down a lot of things because you don't want to pass it. Like, you know, a lot of, even in the UFC, you've got teams of fighters fighting on the same night a lot of time. Like, American yeah. top team. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's like, if one guy that's fighting that night has staff and then gives it to the rest of the team, then <laughs> that's, a, that's a big problem because now everybody can't train. So uh, it, it is something you got to work through and, um, you know, take your showers. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, yeah, it is. And then you get on antibiotics. That affects everything. So it's a, it's a big deal. It's a lot bigger than just, you know, I got a skin infection. And if you have a chance, type in Benoit St. Denis on Google, stat infection, and you'll see he had it on his forehead. And it was clear as day. So that's just so him crazy. Through it the week up. Yeah. That's nasty. Yeah, that is pretty nasty. And I think, you know, I think when Charles had a cut in his forehead, when he was supposed to fight Islam before that, he, he wasn't allowed to fight either because of an open wound and right. stuff like that. Yeah, you see that happen a lot too. Yeah, it kind of limits you. More behind the scenes I go into leading up to a fight that it's really almost not a miracle way. It's, it's when you get all the way to the fight, if you're not injured or anything happens like that, you're extremely happy. Everybody goes into some and to a fight with some sort of injury, some sort of setback, and that's just all part of the process that you've got to deal with. It's almost, oops, it's more rare to go into a fight that everything went according to plan. Exactly. So when you look at Poirier and Makachev, who are you looking to? I would love for Dustin to win. I, I get him. Don't, I only get I him. Don't think <laughs> and his coach will. told him not to do it, and he still did it anyways. <laughs> uh, don't think he will, but if he does, that would be amazing. I mean, I'm a, I love Dustin, and... Uh, you know, I was watching that last fight at a bar downtown. I got a USA chant going after. Yeah. That was, that was fun. USA. You know? So uh, hopefully we'll be getting another USA chant, and I would love to see that happen. Uh, it's a, definitely an interesting fight. Um, we'll see. I'm interested to see, like, what the difference is between his fight with Makachev and Khabib is. Cause I, I want to see if yeah, I think that similar or if it's going to be, you know, is Makachev going to handle more than Khabib did? You know? I don't, I, th I think it'll be interesting in that aspect because I think Makachev, like Khabib's an all time great, Yeah. but Makachev's a better striker yeah, than Khabib right. was. And he can kick, he can punch. I think he's a little bit more well-rounded. Khabib's obviously, known for his wrestling and his grappling. He's a little bit stronger in that area. But I think Islam just being able to stand on his feet. I mean, his last fight gets Volk. I mean, who knocks out Alexander Volkanovsky like that? I mean, that's just so I, – I, I was like, wow. Like, that is so tough for a guy. Volkanovsky's so good at what he does. It's just like, man, Islam's just 
He's just that good. He's on another level. We talked about Cody Rose finishing his story in the WWE. <laughs> Dustin finished his story in the I wanted Roman Wayne Reigns to win that <laughs> fight. Talk to me, baby. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me nice. I'm from another world, baby, yeah. Broadway paradise. They think I'm way too cold because I put my heart.